The inscription of Merneptah dates to around 1210 BC. The translation reads, Canaan is plundered, Ashkelon is conquered, Gezer is seized, Yenoam is made non-existent, Israel is laid waste. Ashkelon, Gezer, and Yenoam are followed by the city-state symbol. These three city-states were ruled by kings. There is no city-state symbol shown for the name Israel. Instead, the symbol for a foreign people is shown. Israel is described as a people that has not yet formed into a nation and therefore is without a king. According to biblical chronology, the date 1210 BC falls in the Judges period, where we find in the book of Judges this repeating phrase, in those days, Israel had no king. There's an enormous amount of archeology span that confirms a lot of details in the Bible. That's why when people say things like, well, just because the Bible said so, does that mean it's historically true? Well, I mean, just because the Bible said so, does it mean it's not historically true? Because there's a fair bit of archaeology confirming many of the things in the Bible.